Championship, only on BBC America. England have tinkered. Joe Marler back into the starting lineup. Tom Croft back into the starting lineup. England's most experienced player, Dan Cole, 40th cap. Owen Farrell is back in the all important number 10 shirt. England's tries, just the one in the last three games, scored by Manu Tuilangi against France. From the bench, they will pour round about the hour mark. Climax of the Six Nations 2013. Steve Walsh, today's referee. Owen Farrell, back in the white of England. We are off at the Millennium Stadium. Wales can win the title. England can win the title and the Grand Slam. Toby Falatau in his own 22. First touch for Mike Phillips. Dan Bigger. Alex Good. So ben Youngs looks for number eight, Tom Wood. Captain Chris Robshaw. To Hooker, Tom Youngs of Leicester. His brother, Ben Youngs. Alan Wynne Jones and Ian Evans back doing defensive work Lee Halfpenny turns safely dabs down good afternoon Brian good afternoon Eddie well a reasonable start for England from a bit of a loose kick from Dan Bigger but that was an equally loose one from Owen Farrell wasn't meant to bounce inside he went to dribble into the corner Owen Farrell to his captain, Chris Robshaw. Ian Evans with another tackle from the second row for Wales. Farrell, a test up for Dan Bigger. Took it well. Justin Tipperick. The captain, Gethin Jenkins, the offload, Alan Wynne-Jones, Adam Jones. Wales prepared to risk the passes out of the tackle. Alex Cuthbert. There's one pass that didn't come off. Advantage being played. Loose pass from Ben Youngs. Bounces for Owen Farrell. That comes off Toby Falatau. George North <laughs> watches it spin off the line, back into play. And good afternoon, Shane Williams. Afternoon, Eddie. I think there's uh, intent by both sides at the moment to play with ball in hand. A few little dint kicks by Bigger there and, and, and of course Farrell. I think we're going to see a lot of that, a lot of testing with the kick this afternoon. Well, England have the worst line-out percentage in the Six Nations, but Wales are at 83, so not far behind. Wales caught nothing there. Tom Croft with the quickly taken line-out. Tom Youngs has the ball secured at the back of what? this mall. Brother Ben goes digging for it. Chris Ashton off the right wing. Farrell knock on by Manu Tuilangi. I think uh, advantage Wales, being played. Wales are lucky there. There was certainly room on the outside, and all of a sudden England are under pressure in their own 22. Great kick through there. Alex Good has to go scampering back. So from promising an attack, England turned. Wales now with the throw inside the England 22. Well, the work had been done there by the forwards. Tuolangi just taking his eye off the ball because there was space outside. And then Wales with the turnover, intelligent kick. And it's good. No option. It's a, it's a clever kick by Dan Bigger there as well. He knew that they were off the attack. 
He knew that there was no one back in defence circuit for England. Great kick. Richard Hibbard finds Sam Warburton. Bigger. Alex Cuthbert just had to slow down his run. Richard Hibbard, the hooker. Mike Phillips just checks the blind side and goes on his own. Good tackle by Tom Wood. It's there, big Ian Evans. Hibbard again. Bigger, Jamie Roberts. from Steve Walsh. I didn't know it's got any form. Back on, England put in. Well, for a start, as it always was going to be, actually it's almost impossible to hear yourself talk in this atmosphere. Incredibly electric sound for both the Welsh and the English fans. The players have to keep the nerve and the calm. Well, the two did take the ball by the wingers. I think you're defending well. I, I think this is this is an area where where Wales would be concerned. They they need to be more patient when they get in the opposition 22. Um, they have shown in other games they can get in the 22 enough times, but lose the ball far too often. Here we have one of the key areas of confrontation, and it will take some sorting out. The England front row, Joe Marler. Tom Youngs and Dan Cole against Geffen Jenkins, Richard Hibbard and Adam Jones. Touch! Touch! Sit! Steve Walsh's patience being tested. Everybody will have a view. Gap's okay, let's go. Sure, mate, no problems. Yeah. <laughs> That's the 22 metre line. England. Touch! With the put in, then Young's to feed. Adam Jones trying to exert pressure. And Wales get the penalty. The hit, Brian, all important. The Wales and Wales got what they call the go forward. The loss here, you can't push before the ball. It's, it's fading to the scrum. Not, feed. not feeding in time. It's only a free kick, yeah. not a penalty. There's a feed for not feeding in time, and uh, Wales have sensibly opted for yeah. the scrum again. A psychological blow for England, exerted by the Welsh. Got the nudge on early, Marley going inside, going outside, but it's coming in by Jones, Adam Jones. Same 22, same set piece, different put in. Mike Phillips with the feed and an, an enticing blind side. Yeah, well, it's obviously there's a we, Wales have got no one on the right hand side at the moment. Brown is there, he's, he's continued to stay there, which means we've still got numbers on the left. It depends, depends what we actually do here, but I think Wales have got to have a set move and attack the back lane of England. Put the fear, please. That presupposes, Shin, the ball will actually come out at any point here. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not at the moment. Well, we've been five minutes already waiting for this ball to come out the scrum, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping it does come. It's a great area for Wales to attack. And like I said, Brown has, has, has continued continue to stay on the left-hand side of the of the of the scrum, which means we do have numbers. Alex Cuthbert is standing alongside centre Jonathan Davis. Sit. Mike Phillips feeds straight scrimmage for the moment. It's gone down. Steve Wallace says play on. Wales go to the open side, and this is Cuthbert. Sam Warburton hands off Owen Farrell. Good tackle by Tom Wood. Jonathan Davis. And again, Owen Farrell has to make the tackle. Toby Falatao. Tackle by Manu Turalangi. This is where they need to be patient. England are very good at defending in their own 22. 
They're not putting many numbers in the ruck at the moment, which means obviously they've got they've got their players out in the defensive line. Jamie Roberts just makes a yard through the tackle. Dan Bigger. Jonathan Davis straightens it. Phillips keeps on heading right. Lee Halfpenny from fullback. Wales do have the penalty. They never made any ground. That's still the 22. But the reward is the penalty. I think this is where the patience comes in, Eddie. They're, they're keeping the ball well. They're going through the phases. They're putting the pressure on the English defence. You know, there's an opportunity now for three points. It's good play by Wales. Nice play, and equally pertinent when you're talking about patience, Cheney's in defence as well. England weren't conceding ground after several phases there. Wales have not really made anything over the advantage line. And if that's the case, as defenders, you have to back One, yourself one, and your teammates and not put your hands in there, there please, please. not take the extra inch, not take the extra step. Yeah, certainly, it's probably a needless penalty, really, considering England have, uh, have knocked Wales back 10 yards in, outside the 22, so it's a bit of discipline by England there. Only the five against Italy. This is the first penalty of the game. Steve Walsh just having a word with... Adam Jones, but it, uh, it makes a change, Brian, to see only one free kick at the scrimmages so far. Yeah, I've been uh, advising him how to prop. That'd be interesting, won't it, really? He's got to the moment, so it's 3-0 uh, to Wales. Farrell drops it towards the Welsh 22. Mike Phillips waits. Phillips just wriggles away from a couple. It's a tackle in the end by Joe Launchbury, who um, had the injury scare, the hyper-extended elbow, but uh, here he is. Toby Falatao. Phillips. Chris Robshaw is back for England. Inside him, Alex Good. Lee Halfpenny waits. Robshaw follows up with a tackle. Three, move. Dan Cole penalised. Phillips takes it quickly. Mike Phillips makes ground. Alan Wynne Jones is with him. Mike Phillips goes on himself. Head down. Tom Croft. There's one of the people standing in his way. Gethin Jenkins with the loose pass. Jonathan Davis picks up. Adam Jones pauses over the ball. Falatau. Tipperick. Stand bigger. Oops. It's scrambled back on the England side. Bad Barrett. He certainly Tom Young. Or in final to Elangi. It's a run for Mike Brown. That looks for the pass. Lee Halfpenny kicks downfield. The ball still in play. Great scramble defence by Toby Falatau there. He got back well. Covered the inside pass. Took the Brown pass very easily and, uh, and got the pass away to, to Lee Halfpenny quickly. Falatau goes up and gathers and escapes two tackles. Dan Bigger, Justin Tipperick. Short to Jonathan Davis. Good tackle on him by Joe Marler. And again, England penalised at the breakdown. Chris Ashton. Well, that's just dull. You're right from the referee. You're in the exposed. And I know he's hyped up and I know he wants to get into the game. However, you know, there was no pressure on England's line. You're going to be put back into your own half. And that sort of, on a big occasion, that sort of thing, not so cool. Yeah, well, obviously ill-disciplined by, by Ashton there as well. 
mindset is he's in a, he's in a good place at the moment with his mindset. Certainly, certainly didn't didn't look to be uh, doing any favours for England there really. But he's under pressure. He knows he's got to get involved in the game because people have been criticising him, etc. But you've got to touch root in the right areas in the right way, and that was not the right area or the right way. Well, it's not the start he really wanted, but uh, I'm sure we'll see more of Ashton in this game. Richard Hibbard, Wales have a full-ish line. Now, Tony Falatau is still out in three quarters, but that's because he's been hurt. Not down, but um, slow for a moment. They win the ball without their number eight Wales and start a slow march. Alan Wynne Jones comes away with it. Stays on his feet long enough to tell the troops where he is. Mike Phillips. Jamie Roberts. And he just gets through the tackle of Chris Robshaw. It's that extra yard in the tackle, Jonathan Davis. England have stolen it, Ben Youngs. Oh, and it's nearly an interception by Alex Cuthbert. Was it deliberate, that knock-on? They play on through Alex Good, the fullback. Chris Robshaw, tackle. It is a helter-skelter first quarter here. Now, England through Brad Barrett. Did have a little overlap just for a brief moment. Lee Halfpenny waits. Mike Brown in pursuit. I think Mike Brown's been an unsung player for England this championship. I'll talk about Ashton, but Brown has been fantastic as far as what I've seen. He's worked hard, he's good under the high ball, and his defence has been immaculate throughout. Big up. Straight down the middle. It'll keep play in the England half for the moment. Which is the important uh, point. Now, what is happening here? Uh, not a lot, really. Ian Evans, Jeff Parling. Good afternoon to the pair of them. I think that's a UFC move as far as I know, to be honest with you. And this is where... This man has been very, very good. Well, he, he doesn't make many mistakes, to be fair, Lee Halfpenny. But like I said earlier, it was a good chase by Brown. Uh, managed to put Lee Halfpenny down very early. Didn't leave him to make any yards from the kick. Lee Halfpenny just ducks under the tackle of Tom Woods. And again, England penalised at the breakdown. And I think that's as many penalties in this match as they concede in the whole game against Italy. Number two, White. Well, this is within kickable range. So, a look, Young's is a tackler. Can't play anything until he's on his feet, which he isn't. Rob Shaw, as soon as the referee calls. Well, whether he say that's a ruck or not is uh, open to debate. Doesn't matter because the referee has made his mind up and it's a kick. I think Rob Shaw's unlucky there, but I think it was Young's that actually gave the penalty away. Well, it has been a breathtaking start. Jonathan. He let, um, you know, a quick penalty, a quick free kick, and Mike Phillips took it very, very quickly. The, the ruck is very good for Wales at the moment, but just watch, this is the only opportunity. He makes the break, but unfortunately, it's Alingwyn Jones who's on his left-hand side, not George North. Opportunity. I think Rob Howley as well would... Would want Wales to go out and play with tempo. That's what England would be doing throughout the championship. Uh, and that was the intent there by, by Mike, obviously. It was a shame there was no one with him. But it was a good run by Mike Phillips. He made 50, 60 yards there, got in a good position. And we, they showed his strength again by, by shrugging off Ashton. One of the sights of the Six Nations. He does get himself in a state before games, Lee Halfpenny, but when it comes to the kicking operation, he is calmness itself. Well, the irony is that when Wales have put pressure on England, England have defended well. When they've been in areas where they haven't been under pressure, they've given the penalties away, which have awarded points, well, not awarded, but Wales have taken the points, taken the points on, on offer, and it's put them into it. Well, there's going to be a time... I'm not sure whether Steve Walsh said enough is enough, but there's going to be a time when that comes for England. I think Sue Lancaster would have said in the week as well, no silly penalties. You know, you don't want to be 6 0 down after 14, uh, 18 minutes, sorry, uh, in, a, in a grand slam deciding game. But Lee Halfpenny, Mr. Arrival, Mr. Cool, 
I, you know, having played with him and trained with him, he'd have been a nervous wreck the last couple of weeks. But fair play to him. George North around the ball out of the 22, and here's Alex Good, the England fullback, coming back at Wales. Richard Hibbard with the tackle. Good delivers. Barrett checks, cuts back against the grain, makes ground. Penalty to England. Well, he's given the same, exactly the same as he did against Rob Shaw, which is consistent. And one thing is certain for England, they will not win a game if they give this number of penalties away in this. With your hands cut on the ground and then come back onto the ball, you've got to go straight onto it. That's what they call dragging, isn't it? Players Thanks. are coached to throw themselves beyond the ball, the hands, then when they get picked up by the opposition players, they then come onto the ball and take it off. Steve Walsh saying you've got to put your hands straight on the ball. I think 12 months, of, uh, months ago as well, you know, that wouldn't have been a penalty, so the rules have changed, obviously. You have to show that you are actually releasing the player on the ball. Unfortunately, Sam, Sam Warburton there just didn't do that. And uh, this guy doesn't miss many either, so, uh, you know, where's your money? The routine of uh, looking at the ball, head to one side, sizing up the posts. Enough, England are on the board, 6-3. Of people in fancy dress. Um, well, England don't necessarily deserve that, but it will calm their nerves to get registered on the board. It doesn't matter how they go over. Owen Farrell, one penalty, Lee Halfpenny, two. This is Dan Bigger. And as is the custom, it's Chris Robshaw who takes the kickoff for England. Jumps under no real pressure. Tom Wood with a tackle. Adam Jones to Warburton. Dan Bigger going high. Alex Good. Cuthbert couldn't quite grab it. Advantage being played. Knock on. We'll have a scrummage where Steve Walsh is. I think England not committing many players to the ruck at the moment either and it shows that they're willing to, to put their players in the defensive line and see what Wales are going to actually bring to the game which seems to be, you know, seems to be well to be keeping them, keeping them in line at the moment Well England will be desperate to stop the big runners, you know, the big wingers North who makes a lot of ground has been made the most ground for Wales in this championship and so far they're doing okay, in defence is fine they just have to keep their hands off the ball Good ring. Crouch! Touch! Sit! Front rows pop up. Wales get the penalty. Popping up out of the scrum. Adam Jones against Joe Marla. Richard Hibbard against Tom Young. Right, this is get the Jenkins against Dan Cole. Sorry, this is one of the problems when the ball isn't hooked straight to the back. If anything comes thereafter, the ball is stuck in the second row's feet and you can't get it out. And England are under pressure and they have to find a way, Dan Cole has to find a way, to get his shoulder down around and anchor that scrum. This is a massive psychologic, uh, psychological boost for Wales at the moment. England haven't come under this pressure at all throughout the tournament. Wales have obviously had a very strong scrum. Adam doing very well there and, and, and putting them under pressure and again it's another three-point attempt well done Shane you have successfully passed your scrummaging exams <laughs> welcome to the madness I've been swapped in all week Rob Howley in the dark blazer Sean Edwards to his right they'd be willing this um, this uh, kick certainly to go over pull the pressure off a little bit Mike Brown, 
Chris Robshaw, club mates at the Harlequins. They can only stand and watch. Over she goes. Third penalty. Wales nine, England three. Uh, he, he just makes it look, look so easy as well. You know, talking 30, 40 yards out there. Never in doubt as soon as he's kicked it. I'm going to tell you what that does for forwards and everyone else. Once you get rewarded for that sort of scrum, you want to do it again and again and again. Exactly. And like I said earlier, psychologically, it's just put Wales on the front foot. Yeah, I just think that uh, you know they're giving a lot of penalties away the uh, the English because it's so fast and the intensity and the clearing out of the rucks and moors and he's just had a word the referee to say roll away and that's been their problem. It's just so intense. Good. Adam Jones did well to make a, a tackle in open play. Ben Young's. Tom Wood hard to Tom Young's. Large cluster of England forwards here. Farrell finds Chris Ashton, not a forward. Farrell again. Long to Mike Brown. Good tackle on him by Alex Cuthbert. Just a little bit lateral by England at the moment. They're trying to get the ball to, uh, to, to Brown and the likes of Ashton. But Wales are managing to push them to the sideline and, and make sure they don't get any, get any lines there. Penalty against Wales well he's being very strict at this breakdown area the instruction roll away again another one of them needless penalties really Jamie Roberts losing his footing there there is a feeling that when the roof is closed it does increase the moisture levels down at ground level well it does uh, the misconception is when the roof's closed it's dry out there it does get very wet and dewy uh, very slippery underfoot and we can see there Jamie having to change direction a little bit later than, than he anticipated lost his foot in and, and you you actually do see a lot of that off the ball that line from Ashton is one that they've been begging him to run more often in the most recent weeks it hasn't been there didn't quite go through the gap that it might have done but still at least he's involving him in the game in an area which he can play in certainly And they make it look easy, but it was a long way out. Certainly, a lot of pressure on to get that one. But it's, again, it's put Wales on the front foot. The, the three pounds up again. Down to go down towards Alice Goods. Richard Hibbard made contact. Referee had a good look at it. And was happy the play to continue. Good. On halfway, eventually goes to ground. Jeff Parlin sidesteps Ian Evans. Tackle again, an another slip, a slip of the Turnover. foot on the surface. Turnover to Wales. No, it's not, but they do have the pit in. Well, that was brilliant. He's okay. Steve Walsh making the point. People have to understand the laws. The tackler can get up from any angle, doesn't matter if it looks offside, provided he makes the first one, he can just stand up and play the ball, and that's what Steve Walsh is saying. You watch here. He's allowed to do that from that side, that's what Richie McCaw does better than anyone in world rugby. People see that he's offside, he isn't. 
I think as long as the, the intent set to release the player, uh, it's, le it's, le it's legal. Far side of the field. Wales again go forward at the scrimmage and England get the penalty. Well, <laughs> well, funnily enough, I thought that Adam Jones was doing his job there because he split Marla and Youngs, which is why Young's left shoulder went up. Okay. It's not Paul's guys, it's corner. Owen Farrell kicks for touch rather than goal that's uh, that's quite an interesting decision there really i think i think it's within farrell's territory um hasn't decided to go for the three points has gone for the corner maybe a bit of confidence there i don't know may also be a case that england have not had much territory not had chance to develop any sort of momentum and phase play in welsh territory overthrown just in ticket Picks up the scraps. Roberts. Well, the very happy with that. Doesn't do much of that, but it's a good kick. Or was the play taken back into the 22? It was. Craig Joubert, the touch judge, will take the line out all the way back in the Welsh 22. Well, England have another chance to get this right, but with the advantage of two jumpers in Wood and Croft, who are big line out options here, simply cannot afford it. It's not acceptable. For them to not be able to secure this phase of play. Well, they've got a second chance now, anyway, so we'll see what they got. They go through the one, switch the focus, and then come hard in midfield through Chris Ashton. Dan Bigger with the tackle. Quickly recycle ball for England. Robshaw takes it. Ian Evans with the tackle. Owen Farrell, Mike Phillips tracks back. Oh, Richard Hibbard with the tackle on Joe Marler. You can hear the crunch up here. Brad Barrett. Marlow to Alani. So that, that's the first time we've seen two Alani with ball in hand, I think. And uh, it's, it's certainly something that England would want, would want them to get to get his hands on the ball a little bit early in the game. Faratau with a tackle on Robshaw. Farrell to... Barrett. England's first bit of pressure. Dan Bigger with the interception. Roberts, George North gets away from Chris Ashton. Mike Brown hits it. The tap tackle by Mike Brown on George North. Lee Halfpenny goes in it. Jeff Parling has won the ball back for England. How important will that tackle be? need to be careful. George, there's no one back. Toby Falatau has to get back. Chris Ashton in pursuit. Oh my word! What a game! Well, well, one would have another, and that was brilliant struggle defence by Mike Brown because all opened up. It came from it came from England, not just having enough patience. That never was going to be on there. Throw the pass to the main side. Other options have got to go, and then you would have backed him. But great work by Parling as well to get that many men back. Well, there was a try saver there for sure. You know, we all know George North has got plenty of pace, even with 50 yards to spare. And, you know, I know what my money was on there, but it was a great tackle there by Brown. Richard Hibbard, who was involved at the very outset with a crunching tackle, now has to do the accurate stuff. Shortened Welsh line out. It's gone loose. Fatau swoops up. Bigger off his wrong foot, but it's a good clearance under severe pressure. Jonathan. Yeah, I just feel it's such an exciting game, but the dark arts of the of the ruck. Just watch. What happens here? It's slow ball, slow ball. He gets tangled up. Just quick look, the defense is up. And Tom Young realizes that just comes, takes the ball back in. Both sets of defense have been absolutely amazing. Top one. Well, I feel that England have weathered the earliest storm because they were under a lot of pressure and not playing well and starting now to do things properly. Croft with the line-up win. Jamie Roberts upends Manu Tuolangi in midfield. Oh, the tackling is absolutely brutal. 
Wales have turned the ball over. Justin Tipperick and his blue cap go in. Well, England have claimed it back again. Alan Wynne Jones goes over the top. Ben Youngs, Owen Farrell, late switch of play. Behind out, Cuthbert, Mike Brown. Lee Halfpenny comes away with it. Lee Halfpenny check, but the ball has gone way downfield. Tipperick is in pursuit. This is Alex Good, back for England. Tipperick arrives. Oh, my word. We've talked about constriction and oppression in the Six Nations. At this late stage, it has come to life. Well, he well, well, said there's no passion in rugby. Don't you believe it? It's out there, it's on the field, it's around this stadium. But hopefully with some civility. It really is, you know, end-to-end -end stuff at the moment. It's just uh, Mike Brown there losing it in the, in the Wales 22. Great kick by Lee Penny. Next thing you know, we're in the England, in the England's 25. So it's uh, it is really as enjoying stuff at the moment. Fantastic rugby. Halloween Jones wins the lineout. Sam Warburton, Falatau. <laughs> Richard Hibbard. No, White, stay where you are. Dan Bigger. A little dart himself, but he's surrounded by white shirts. He gets it back. Ian Evans has a big hand on the ball. Different approach by Wales. Coming straight through. It doesn't work because away comes Joe Marler. Jeff Parley, Chris Robshaw. Owen Farrell. Advantage over. Play on. This is Jamie Roberts going back for Wales. Well, that's a great kick by Farrell, but I want to make a point about experience and about playing in stadia and about under pressure in these sort of games when Mike Brown had the ball there the better option for not unless there was a certain pass on that would go to is just to step inside and get the ball back again same again with uh, Ben Youngs when he came short tried to get the ball to Wayne Farrell if he's not going to be dead there when you're in the 22 just have the confidence to stay there something else will come yeah and it's, it's about keeping the ball in, in key areas like I say if Mike Brown would have kept the ball there it would have put Wales under even more pressure didn't need to make the pass. Having said that, the pass would have come off, it would have been a good move. Dan Cole comes away from a line out that went into that dreaded no man's land between forwards and scrum half. Owen Farrell behind Brad Barrett, Jonathan Davis, and George North. And Jamie Roberts. Good but, did uh, well there under good, pressure. Good did well, didn't he, to get that back. Tom Wood, Chris Ashton. Swallowed up by George North and Adam Jones. Could be another turnover ball. Going to be a penalty. It's there for Ben Youngs, though. He's, he's lucky to get away with that. Crushing tackle by Mike Phillips. Ben Youngs goes himself. Lee Halfpenny comes forward for it. And Lee Halfpenny comes away with it. He's just cleaning everything up at the moment, Lee Halfpenny. No, little kicks through, death kicks. He's really, you know, he's really busy. He's really working hard to get his body over the line. Really brave. Dan Bigger. Good. Two Welsh front rowers, Adam Jones and Richard Hibbert with the tackle. That's... Farrell, short to Chris Ashton. Characteristic swoop ball, by Sam right? Warburton, arms out, yeah. and then closing tight. <laughs> Barrel changes direction with the kick. Alex Cuthbert goes back and has the confidence to run out and carries on running. Gethin Jenkins, the captain, arrives. There's certainly numbers Dan on the left, Bigger, you want to move it. Lee Halfpenny. Jonathan Davis, George North cuts inside, England fall over themselves a bit there, George North can't get a boot to it, Alex Good comes away with it, there was a knock on, we'll have a scrum there, oh Brian. Well, I don't know about you, I'm out of breath watching this, and whilst it not be the best high quality technical rugby, it is end to end and you've got to give credit to both sets of players, not only for their ambition, but for getting back in defensive mode and, and making these tackles. Boys.
was scrumming. And Farrell's done well to get back here to, to, to track back George North. Like I say, he's one of the quickest guys in the field. And this it seems to be end-to-end -end stuff, a lot of turnovers. But the impact and the intent of these players is, is just incredible at the moment. And funnily enough, both fullbacks, good for England and Halfpenny, have been the stars so far. See more of them than nearly anyone else, and they've both been exemplary. The physicality in the game at the moment is just incredible, and uh, I'm glad I'm sat up here, to be honest with you guys. I think it's very interesting that you talk about a change of game. I think every player has had the ball in their hands, wingers, props. It is a, it's a different type of game today. Well, I just heard a call of no penalties there, and it was an English accent. And they would say that because there have been two from this phase of play. Stay down. Customary now, everybody is talking to the touch judge, making their own points. I don't suppose they're listening to the singing. Steve Walsh takes a deep breath and decides to reset. He almost looked like he didn't have any answers there for that one and just thought we'll have another one. Look at the binding on this side. Cole got the bind, Jenkins didn't. It really is a great atmosphere today. You can't hear yourself think. And I walked through the tunnel earlier. I was very privileged to walk back through the tunnel. I felt like I was playing again. Goosebumps and everything. It was fantastic. Touch! Sit! England going backwards, yes. Wales, free kick, only burn. I'm sure that wasn't 10 there, to be fair. It'll be round five, though, Shane, so that's all right. Alan Jones to Richard Hibbert. Jeff Parling with the tackle, Adam Jones with the pickup, tackled by his opposite number three, Dan Cole. I think Wales have noticed as well that England aren't putting too many players into the ruck. They, they've installed this pick and go system at the moment, which is working. Alan Wynne Jones that time, here's Faletau. Phillips to pick up. Just left of the post. Close. Close. <laughs> oh, we got better eyesight than I have. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the right thing to do. What a breath. Well, Eddie, fine. Half time. Well, it has been such an absorbing first half, and it's been that close all the way through as it is.